Fayette County, Ohio. Trooper James Kress pulls over a late night motorist on suspicion of DUI. He doesn't know that the man is Ty Baker, a major suspect in a three county drug investigation. And the trooper may not live to find out. Excuse me, sir. How you doing? Trooper Kress will stay out of way for sure. Yeah? He's gonna stop you. Oh, the one. It's like drifting left to center, back into the right, right line. Oh, my bad, man, you know what I'm saying? So far, Cress is just trying to get a reckless driver off the road. How much have you had to drink tonight? I haven't had none, sir. No, okay. You're in the step area. Come on back and talk to me, man. Okay. Baker takes his time, conversing with the female passenger in his car and hiding a gun in his coat. Crest decides to take control of the situation. Hey, what, man? Go ahead, put your hands up here. I'm just gonna pat you down. And not a moment too soon. In the struggle, the suspect's gun falls. But he quickly retrieves it, aims back at the cop, and fires. The point-blank shot tears through the gunman's hood, missing Cress's face by millimeters. The patrolman grapples for the weapon. But even some well-placed punches to the head don't put an end to the crook's resistance. If the trooper runs out of strength first, he's a dead man. His only hope is to level the playing field with a gun of his own. Baker goes limp. The officer slides the weapon out of reach. Once the passenger is secured safely in the cruiser, Cress quickly administers first aid. But the suspect can't be saved. It was a situation Cress tried to avoid. But when a criminal shows no regard for human life, an officer can't afford to hesitate. <laughs> 